Welcome back. Fears of a trade war with China moving markets here and abroad. A lot of volatility. But with China trade tensions taking their toll on markets, could now actually be a good time for savvy investors. Joining us right now to talk more about putting money to work is Morgan Creek Capital Management CEO and CIO, Mark Yusko. Mark, always a pleasure to see you. How are you? Good morning, Maria. You know, I'm doing great. It feels Sorry I couldn't like, be in New York with you, but thanks for having me. Yes, we're happy to talk to you always. But it feels like this market is, uh, well, we called it underwhelming earlier, the performance of the market, given the trade Good tensions. Word. What's your take on what's going on right now and whether or not you want to put money to work? Yeah, look, we, um, we're actually doing a little webinar later this afternoon about why now is a great time to get hedged in the U.S. markets. But we think it's actually a really good time to be buying in the Chinese markets, particularly in the A share market. You know, domestic A shares have been included in the MSCI indices as of June 1st. So every portfolio manager on the planet has to start acquiring those shares over the next few years. So we think there's a lot of overreaction to trade hype, and uh, it's a good time to buy what's on sale. Hey, Mark, Mitch Rochelle, the U.S. Hey, dollar is strong, the Chinese yuan's weak, maybe for a couple of reasons, but is yeah. investing in China sort of unhedged if you take into account currency fluctuations? Yeah, it's a great point. You know, look, the, uh, the Chinese, I say, have been for a long time playing Go. In fact, I have to hashtag China play and Go. You know, they're playing a different game. They take a much longer term view than we do. You know, they plan in 30 year increments. They have 10 year plans and they've got the big stick in this negotiation. So uh, just like about uh, three years ago in 2015, 16, when they uh, did the same thing, they threatened to devalue the currency and we backed down a little bit. I think the same thing will happen here. You know, the dollars really only bounced from uh, the low uh, high 80s to the low 90s here uh, on the DXY. So we're not too concerned about the dollar taking off. So, you know, a lot of voters, two thirds of voters out there think that um, the way that Trump is dealing with trade is just the tariffs are all a negotiating strategy and they're not necessarily <laughs> going to be implemented and, and dangerous. Um, at the same time, there's, you know, a lot of folks out there who are saying that the tariffs could wipe out tax, you know, all the all the good of tax reform on the on the average American. Yeah. What do you how yeah. do you see it? Yeah, look, I do think it's a lot of bluster. I think it's ill-advised bluster. You guys were talking earlier about what's happening in the Midwest to corn and soybean prices. That's real money being taken out of people's pockets. That's not, you know, maybe it's going to happen, maybe it's not. Those prices are down and down a lot. And China can turn off those imports of grain pretty quickly because they've got huge stockpiles. They're very smart. Again, long-term visionary thinkers. They've got big stockpiles of oil, of commodities and grains. So now they can't go on forever. They still got to buy our grain. Uh, but I do think that these trade blustery moves are, as I said, ill-advised. And uh, if you're not going to follow through, which I think would even be more ill-advised, two words, Smoot and Hawley, um, I just think trade wars, no one wins. And real quick on the hedge, you said you want to be hedged in the U.S. Are you expecting a sell-off in stocks here? You know, we've seen a sell-off really since January 26th. And it's you been called a slow it. You, and steady you were decline. That. Yeah. Yeah, we talked this, you know, last two times I was on. We talked about that and we talked about why, you know, all markets really globally are suffering from the central banks pulling back liquidity. That's going to slow economic growth. Trade wars don't help that. And when growth slows, profits slow, stock prices fall. Uh, pretty simple. So, all right, you're expect is it significant f from here or um, you know, our view is that, look, if if it's a normal correction yeah. with a normal economic slowdown in 2019, you know, we could see a 10, 15, 20 percent decline, but slow and yeah. not not a, not a crash. Mm. If we get really serious about uh, tariffs and trade wars, it could get ugly in a hurry. And I wrote a letter about this a while ago, a while ago called Welcome to Hooverville. Right. And it would play out, I think, just <laughs> like the 2930 <laughs> scenario. Oh, Hopefully God. we don't get there. All but right. it could happen. Mark, it's good to see you this morning. Thanks so much. Well, thanks for having me. Great Mark, to talk to you Mark guys. Mark Yusko there.